Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome here back to my channel and to my morning and night full skincare routine. I had a request from one of you guys to do this video, so I'm so excited and thankful for whoever requested this video so that I could do it for you guys because I love making videos that you guys wanna see and when it comes to skincare, I love talking about skincare and sharing it with you guys. So I hope that you guys are excited for this video. Give it a huge thumbs up if you are and subscribe if you were new to my channel. I would love to have you here for the next video and let's hop in. So it's hair washing day, which is why my hair is a little crazy and all over the place. But I have my coffee here. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. I worked out, showered, washed my hair. It was hair washing day. So I feel the most clean and yeah, I'm just like getting ready for the day. So just a disclaimer, I do not have the most perfect skin out there. I still have my own struggles. Like you can see, I have nice breakouts because my period decided to come the same week that I wanted to film this video, which always happens to me, but that's totally fine everyone has like spots and breakouts and it's if you don't then you should be doing this video <laughs> um but i thought i would still share the products that have helped me i have normal to combo skin like there's not really anything on the spectrum that's too dry or too oily i'm kind of right in the middle my main concerns definitely are just hyperpigmentation of my previous breakouts my skin is just so pigmented from that it's not necessarily scarred they're not like deep into my skin but they are just like a red mark and so what i found to be the most helpful is actually facials and i know that that's just another expense another thing to buy another service to get into and i totally understand that um but that is what has helped me the most and of course with like the pandemic i haven't gone in a really long time but um yeah that's what i have found to help with my hyperpigmentation the most even though i love to use like really nice skincare and skincare that i believe in and trust um Along with that, the help with a facialist is just like key. So anyway, I'll talk about the products that I love um, and share them with you guys today. So first thing I do, I don't wash my face with a cleanser in the morning. I just find that like I like to keep my natural oils on my skin. So I just rinse my skin with water in the shower or just in the sink as I wake up in the morning. But if I do have a hard workout where I'm like really yucky and sweaty, then I will use a gentle cleanser, which I'll talk about tonight. But for the most part, I just use water. That's what I use today. There's a little bug. <laughs> And so next what I'm going to go into is my Heritage Store Rose Water Facial Toner. I love this stuff. I have repurchased and repurchased this stuff because it's really great. It's really gentle on my skin. It's great for hydration and just like your overall complexion and just like kind of refreshes my skin after the water. It just like adds a nice little... Mm, back into it. So I love the way that it smells. It's very gentle on my skin and before I get too far into it I will leave a link to everything down below if you would like to shop it for yourself But I just take it on a cotton pad like I said, this is very unnecessary Sometimes when I'm out of these I will just put it into my hands and pat it on my face. That's completely fine this is an extra waste that doesn't need to be used and I should do better. So now that we have our toner on, what I like to do is go into my vitamin C. I love vitamin C. Vitamin C is another one of those products that I just cannot live without. I love vitamin C and the benefits. It's a great antioxidant. It's a great brightening agent. It's just all of those things that I love so much. So this one is from Naturium. It's their vitamin C complex serum. Um, so this one has vitamin C plus hyaluronic acid and vitamin E, which is why it's that complex. It's not just straight vitamin C, but I find that I still get great benefits from all of them um, versus most of the time I like to just use a straight vitamin C, but it comes in this nice little dropper and I just take a little bit on my hand. And this is my second bottle actually of Naturium. I love i don't want to drop <laughs> i love their vitamin c it is one of my favorite ones sorry i feel disgusting i need to take my wedding ring off i don't know if anyone else is like that when i do my skincare i cannot have my ring on oh it just like grosses me out i'll pat that all over my skin take it down my neck i don't know i don't know if it's because like vitamin c it makes me think that i'm like brightening and waking up in the morning it's just like my favorite thing to put on in the morning and I've really noticed a difference in my skin with this vitamin c serum I love this one it is my favorite one that I've tried and it's just a good one like I said it's not straight vitamin c I'm not exactly sure if they have one on their website but um the complex is great and I love hyaluronic acid and vitamin e is also very soothing and restorative and we need all of that on my face today. So once I've let that sit for like a couple minutes, I really wanna get one of those 
facial fans. <laughs> Do you, have you guys seen those? I love them and I really want to get one on Amazon. They're like $2 and they're really cute, but I feel like Sebastian would just think I'm absolutely crazy for buying that. So maybe for my birthday, Sebastian. <laughs> but anyway, I just think that they're like the cutest little things, but again, that's unnecessary and you can just like wait a second, wait for it to seep into your skin. I really love allowing my products to have like one to two minutes just to like really seep into my skin. So that's why I have my coffee here. Usually I'm watching a YouTube video. It's just like a great routine. And that's another thing before I get into my next product. I just want to say that if you haven't mapped out time for your self care, you have to, it's so important. You don't have to take a lot of time. This is going to take more time because I'm chatting and I'm talking through products and all of that. But for me this takes me probably like 10 minutes because I make it 10 minutes and I'm doing these things like watching YouTube and sipping my coffee and you know letting my products sit but I allow myself to have that time I either wake up a little bit earlier um, you know or move quickly throughout the rest of my morning routine so that I can give myself this 10 minutes of just like self-love and self-care and it's really important and it will really set you up for a great day so even if you have only one to two skincare products give yourself some extra time even with those two products just to really like practice self-love and self-care and treat yourself and just have a slow easy morning that's like one of my favorite things ever and it has completely changed my outlook on mornings i'm still not like a morning person but once i get to this step in my routine it's so fun moving on <laughs> so once that's been sitting in my skin i will go in again with a hyaluronic acid serum i don't do this every single day um i kind of go probably like every two days it's definitely not every other but it's every two days when I want a nice little lift and especially when I'm wearing makeup that day and so today I am filming things so I want my skin to be very hydrated and glowy so I'm gonna go in with this second serum of hyaluronic acid and this is from the ordinary I love this the ordinary is one of those brands that I want to try loads and loads of different things but they're always sold out and I feel like they never have a restock so um yeah this one i was able to get and i love it it is so luxurious on my skin i can't even tell you so hydrating and moisturizing and i love hyaluronic acid i feel like my 50 year old self is gonna love me for using hyaluronic acid and what's great about the ordinary is they're very affordable which is so nice and their products work amazingly i love this serum it's one of my favorite serums from them i've also heard amazing things about so many other products that I cannot get my hands on but this one has been a huge favorite of mine and it's just nice and gentle um, but very effective and that's what's really important to me I don't want my skin to freak out or break out or anything like that and all of these products have been with me for a really really long time so nothing here now that I'm looking at it nothing here is new all of these are repurchases this is the only thing that's new but as you can see like maybe you can't see but I'm pretty far into the bottle so I can tell you <laughs> that all of these things work well for me and once I find something that I love like the vitamin C and the facial toner I don't budge so those two things are staying with me next I'll go in with my moisturizer and this one you can see <laughs> is almost done um, this is just the first aid beauty ultra repair cream and this is just like an intensive care it says moisturizer i can't even get it out um i originally got this for sebastian and then he was using it and i ran out of moisturizer so i was using it and i actually love it it's a perfect one for daytime um even though it says like intensive hydration i don't feel like it's thick at all it doesn't like mess with my makeup application or anything like that it's just a nice gentle and simple moisturizer which i really love um there's ones that i love more than this one but it's good enough to use it up if that makes sense it hasn't like messed up with my skincare again it doesn't mess with my makeup all of these products work really well with my makeup routine which i also think is really important you don't want skincare that's gonna like ball up your foundation or your powders or anything like that and all of these really do allow my makeup to sit really well on my skin and so yeah not that i won't repurchase purchase this but I love trying new moisturizers I'd love to know what you guys love trying the most for me I love trying moisturizers and cleansers um, when it comes to serums I'm very just like I know what's good and I'm just gonna stay with this um, but yeah I'll probably try a different moisturizer but this one really is gentle and just simple like I said it doesn't have too much of a weird smell or anything like that it just sits on my skin and soaks in really nicely doesn't leave a greasy feeling at all it's 
great. So we've let that sit a little bit. Now we're gonna go into our protecting mode of our skincare, and this is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This is SPF 40, broad spectrum. I love Super Goop. They're really, really good for having, um, this is like literally gone. Um, they're really good for having sun, screen what is this called <laughs> sunscreen that doesn't show up on your face as you can see i'm putting it on and it's completely translucent and i love that i hate a white cast especially when you have a nice tan in the summer the worst thing is to put on sunscreen that has like the biggest white cast so as you can see this is just completely transparent which i love i don't love this particular one the unseen um it's kind of like a silicone is the best way i can explain it, it feels really weird <laughs> um, on your hands and my sister actually let me try the glowy one from there and i love it so once this is up which is it's actually up this is reminding me to repurchase um, a new sunscreen but once this is up i'm gonna use the glowy one just because it makes me feel better and this one even though it's silicone it hasn't messed with my skin which is really nice i haven't had any like rashes or irritation i just feel like my skin wasn't gonna love silicone and i didn't know that it was silicone <laughs> when i bought this but um i just liked the word unseen basically but it has worked well for me and i finished it up like you guys can see but i wouldn't use this exact one i do love super goop they're a really great brand for sun cream and all of that but it's just not my favorite one but it's so important to wear sunscreen even in the winter so fall is coming up so still go out there and buy your sunscreen it is so important for your skin you don't want to have wrinkles you don't want to have sunspots you don't want any sun damage on your skin it's just so so important so if there's anything you want to buy today it has to be <laughs> sunscreen so that's basically all that i use for my morning skincare routine very simple very quick and to the point just a lot of hydration nourishment brightening all of those good things on my skin then i will just finish off with my lip balm and this is the glossier bomb.com you guys know i love this this is in the coconut scent which is good it's not my favorite one i made an order for my mint um i i bought three for me in Sebastian, and they're still not here anyway i'm still waiting on those but the coconut is nice the bomb.com is just so hydrating and i'm telling you i know that you guys have to be sick of me talking about this but this is my favorite chapstick in the whole wide world this is my favorite i wish there was a different application because i do not take these outside of my house because you have to like put it on your finger i guess you could like go like this but no these stay in my house with me when i have nice clean hands i wish there were ones that you could like take in your bag oh i wish and then to finish everything off i normally keep this in my mini fridge in my office to keep it nice and cool um it's still a little bit cool but not as cool as when it like hits my face it just like wakes me up and it's the best last step to my skincare but this is the mario badescu facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea i love these i repurchase them all of the time um they're just nice i have lots of the little bottles everywhere in my bathroom i have the lavender one i use that one at night you guys will see um but this one's great in the morning very refreshing hydrating and just like wakes you up i'm gonna move my coffee <laughs> And I go ham. And again, this would be the perfect situation for my little mini fan. <laughs> so now I'm feeling all ready for the day. That's it for my morning skincare routine. I'm going to go get ready and put some makeup on, get to work, all of those things. And I will see you guys later on tonight for my nighttime skincare routine. Okay, so it's the evening now. It is 8 o'clock and I came into my office because... <laughs> This is kind of the best lighting, even though this video is kind of casual and all over the place. I figured we could talk about my skincare here. So I'm going to put my hair up. The nighttime is where things get a little bit crazy because we have some options when it comes to my skincare. In the morning, I do the same thing every single morning. Um, but for nighttime, like I said, we have options. So depending on the day of the week and all of that, if I'm tanning, if I'm not, all of those things will determine what I do for my skincare. So I'm gonna take off my jewelry really quickly because I am gonna be washing my face and normally I wash my face in the shower, which, hold on, I'm looking at the most beautiful sky right now. Look at how pretty that sky is. It's just so pretty. Normally I take off my makeup and wash my face in the shower, but I didn't do that today specifically for this video. So my hair is kind of 
wet still trying to dry i did shower for the night but <laughs> i had to keep my makeup on so jewelry is off and the first thing that i will do is actually put on my little headband i had to get a new one because my other one broke so these are the best things in the whole wide world they keep your hair out of the way um and then i just get this dirty which is really nice i love doing a double cleanse in the evenings so i love to use kind of like an oil based cleanser to really break up my makeup and help remove it um and then i'll go into my cleanser to really cleanse and clean my skin so the one that i'm using now is the clinique take the day off cleansing oil i love this one this one is a repurchase for me i also really love the balm version of this that comes just in a little tub i also love let's see what else i love the versed brand they have a really good one pharmacy has a really good one there's so many out there um, i will leave a link to some of my favorites but this one works really well for me so i will just take off my makeup here and then so as you guys can see i run in with dry hands and dry face and just massage that all over my skin and that really helps to break up my makeup and get it ready to be rinsed off and then this takes everything off which is so nice as you can see everything is pretty much on my hands all oily all messy so i'm gonna go run into my spare bathroom clean off my face and then we'll come back here to talk about cleansers okay i'm all cleansed as you can see my skin is all nice and clean and so what i used you guys saw i used the clinique take the day off cleansing oil very good then i'll go in with my second cleanse which like i mentioned is the cleanser that i use to really like deep clean my skin and really take the remainder of my makeup off and so i have two cleansers here that i alternate with on sundays and wednesdays i use this guy here which is what i use tonight and this is the botanic tree simply organic glycolic acid exfoliating cleanser i got this off of amazon and there were a ton of great reviews and i love this it's a physical exfoliant so you have to be really really careful and gentle so i only use this a couple nights a week but i love the way that it makes my skin feel i really feel like it just rejuvenates my skin for the week and so like i said i use this twice a week absolutely love it and then on the days where i'm not using that i use the formula 1006 best face forward daily foaming cleanser now like i mentioned this morning i love to use lots of different cleansers so this is a new one for me i've had it for a while but it's the first time i tried this and surprisingly i actually really love it it says it's a foaming cleanser but it really doesn't foam up too much for me um it is more like a gel cleanser and then it does kind of foam a little bit but it's not like a foaming where your face feels like dry and tight and like it's just been stripped away it is really gentle in that way where it's just like a nice baseline daily cleanser which i think is really good it's not my absolute favorite cleanser so i probably Probably won't repurchase it if I'm being honest but it has been good I don't think it like really deep cleans my skin um, especially on the nights where I'm not using my exfoliant I feel like I need an extra like dose on top of this um, I don't feel like it completely cleanses my skin but it's been okay for the meantime and I'm someone that like if it's not giving me like a rash and breakouts then I'm fine to use it up so it is doing the job but not like extremely well now that we're all cleansed I'm gonna go in with my rose water toner again and I do this day and night and it's really good like I mentioned this morning I love it to balance out my pH it's very hydrating rejuvenating and this this also just acts as like another way to remove my makeup I'm really nervous <laughs> that I'm gonna fall asleep with makeup on and I just love being able to completely cleanse and strip my face of any any makeup so this had like a tiny bit on it not too much so now is where again I'll go into a couple of different options on the nights where I'm not exfoliating and I'm just doing the normal gentle cleanser I will go in with the Naturium retinol serum 2.5 percent I love retinol and I've recently just got back into it I took a little bit of a break from it but I'm back on and the one from Naturium is so good no one from Naturium has asked me to say anything about their brand but I do love this brand so much and their retinol is no exception it's so great I'm using it a lot to really help with my overall complexion and radiance it's also great for like fine lines and wrinkles all of that stuff 
Um, and yeah, this is just a really good price point for a 2.5% of retinol and I really love it and it's been working really well for me personally. And so yeah, on the nights where I'm using a gentle cleanser, I will use this during the day. And again, my retinol I use like a couple times a week. It's not every single night, but I believe that you could use this every night, um, but I just choose not to. And then on top of that, and actually what I'm gonna use tonight, um, I love using squalene oil. I love incorporating it into my skincare. And again, <laughs> this one is from Naturium. No surprise, they're my new favorite skincare line. And they're just so affordable and they have really, really great products and ingredients. They're vegan, cruelty-free. They're just an awesome brand to really get involved with. So yeah, this is what I'm going to use tonight. So I'll take, I don't wanna drop it again. <laughs> so I'll take a couple drops of the squalene oil for nice radiance. I'll put it down my neck. And I just love having a face oil on my skin. It is so luxurious and it really does help with like lasting hydration and just an overall like even radiant complexion. So I'll let that sit in for a couple of minutes and then we will go on to our moisturizer. It's been a couple minutes. I let that sink into my skin, have a little chance to breathe on its own. Now we're going to go into our moisturizer. And again, I kind of flop between these two. This is the one I used this morning. So on the nights where I'm not using this one, I will use the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Again, just a simple, easy moisturizer. And when I have my squalene oil on, I don't need like a thick, heavy moisturizer because I'm already getting like moisture from the oil. So I'm fine to use that. But tonight we're doing a deep hydration because it's the middle of the week and I feel like I need it. So this is actually, well, this is a mistake, but this is the Laneige Sleeping Care Water Sleeping Mask. And when I went into Sephora, I meant to pick up the Laneige just water cream or yeah, I believe it's just called the water cream. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I will leave that down below because that's what I wanted. That is a repurchase for me. I love it so much. It is so luxurious and thick and rich and just like that perfect winter deep hydration moisturizer <laughs> um but i was frazzled i think and they just kind of looked the same and so i grabbed the water mask which is nice because the mask you can sleep in so i kind of just use it as my moisturizer i'm going to repurchase the cream um very soon but i figured i'll just use this so i use it a couple nights a week and i actually <laughs> love it it's like again a sleeping mask and so i feel like it just does the same thing it's really hydrating and moisturizing and it just like seeps into my skin and in the morning i just rinse it off and it's been working fine again it's not like the perfect solution and i don't use it every single night because i have a normal moisturizer but i thought i would just show this because it is a beautiful mask and i do love using it in my skincare routine it's just like not exactly Exactly what I need so for the meantime it's working and it's fun to have a sleeping mask I love doing those especially in the winter so that's a good one and these summer Fridays all of their masks are really good um, and I've used them and loved them before so I would recommend any of those for the upcoming winter months they're just perfect so now I'm just using my glossierbomb.com my moisturizer I moisturize all day long but especially right before I go to bed because I wear retainers and I feel like they just make my mouth really dry and I just hate feeling like my lips are dry and my mouth is dry. So just nice way to moisturize before bed. And it just like smells and tastes really yummy. If you have a partner next to you, they just will love it, I promise. Now we're moving on to my last little step, which is my facial spray. This is the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. So just perfect for nighttime. So I'll do a couple sprays of this and I'll be set and ready for bed. And then quickly before I wrap up this video, I thought I would just mention on the nights where I do have a tan and I am trying to keep up with it, I will use these Ulta Beauty Bronze Glow Self Tanning face drops and if you saw my tanning routine video which i will link down below for you i did talk about these and how i incorporate them into my skincare but i thought i would just show that i'm not using it tonight because i'm trying to let my <laughs> tanner fade a little bit because i'm a little bit over it that is my evening skincare routine i hope that you guys enjoyed seeing everything from day to night and it was fun to be able to do this i had fun like doing my skincare with you guys and it was just nice and chatty and hopefully interesting so again i will leave everything down below if you would like to shop it for yourself give the video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you are new i'd love to have you for the next one and i will see you guys in my next one bye